There are some cases you just never forget. This had to be one of the strangest I've ever worked. They call me Detective John. The H is silent. I've worked a few murders, but none quite like this. A case involving lovers, jealousy, betrayal, and a pineapple. It started like any other. Walking into another horror show. There is almost certainly a struggle here. Alright, Miss Allie. So tell me about what you were doing when you found this, Steve. So we had run out of napkins at the party, so I ran to the break room to get more. As soon as I opened the door, Steve was everywhere. Like, I have never seen something so gruesome and grotesque in my life. I might have had my differences, but I didn't kill him. Tell me more about your relationship with this fellow. So Steve and I, we shared an office space. He wasn't the easiest person to get along with. He's always talking. Never would shut up, like, ever. And I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, but I was supposed to be going on a vacation next week. But now I can't, because he's not here. So I had no reason to ever hurt him. So, Janny, I understand you've been cleaning after Steve for some time now. Yeah, I've been taking care of Steve for a long time. Me and him are more like brothers. He's so sweet, so chunky, so juicy. I love to take him to the beach. I like to pair him with my favorite salad. Mmm, Steven, I miss Steven so much. I'll never hurt Steven. You gotta believe me, I'm innocent. All right, all right, I've heard enough here. It could never be me. I've been trying to bring him back. the workplace talking never shutting up always busy he's such a busy fella so i understand steve was your employee yeah steve has been working with this company for a number of years now um he's a hard worker just has a few behavioral problems um doesn't know when to shut up sometimes Sounds like a good reason to take him out. No, no, I, I could not have done that. First of all, it's, it's against my religion. But more importantly, I was out getting more pizza at the time for the party, so I couldn't have been there. After going over the facts, things just weren't adding up. I just couldn't pin down the culprit. There were motives, but nothing rock solid enough to stick. That's when it hit me. A clue so big it would blow this case wide open. What the what? Sugarloaf? At first I thought it was Janny. Tired of cleaning up after a messy pineapple. But then I realized it couldn't have been Janie, because you were in love with Steve. Then I thought it could have been Morgan, sick of a disgruntled and lazy employee. But it couldn't have been you, because you're a pescatarian, goes against your religion. And as for Allie, where's Allie? Anyway, none of that matters because you're all innocent. You see, I realized something when I was at the scene of the crime. I was told Steve was a Pernambuco pineapple. The body that was at the scene, a sugar loaf. I'd recognize that flavor anywhere. So that only leaves us with one question. Where's Steve? So you thought I was pineapple juice, huh? <laughs> nah, I outsmarted everybody. <laughs> Now those dummies are sitting back there trying to figure out who done it. It was me. And they'll never find me. Sugarloaf, out. <laughs>